what made you join our journey? I'm always open to collaborating with like-minded friends and colleagues who are involved in either children's book creation or other artistic literary projects. And also when Sandra first approached me, she seemed to have a very clear vision and she had laid out her plan sort of. Uh, so the combination of logistics and interest um, made me really want to be part of this project. Did you enjoy the creative writing and editing process? I really enjoyed the writing and editing process because again, I think um, Sandra and my working style were very similar. We were very in, in, regarding communication and also timeline and deadlines. It was very professional. Um, but aside from that, I think even our synergy, you know, you know regarding editing suggestions, feedback, and the conversations that ensued was quite uh, enjoyable. Which character resonates the most with you and why? I think I resonate with Chulbuli, the blue sheep, because I just feel like it's such a beautiful creature, sort of mysterious, you know, even with the colors. And and also, like, I, I guess um, I like to go trekking and, you know, um, be mobile and physical. Um, so I think in that regard, too, I, re I resonate with Chulbuli. When Yuka decides to find another snow leopard, what do you think made her make this decision? So this question... Um, what made Yuko decide to find another snow leopard could be is an example of an open-ended question that one can ask the children while doing a read aloud. And I really feel that questions like this offer so many possibilities to imagine um, and explore one's own thoughts because there's no right answer. And so children might come up with many different ideas and that can then lead to other interesting conversations too and you can also get to know you know your your children but also kids can get to know each other so and then you can explore you know the idea of friendship and and even journey so i really like this question uh, and as for me i think i mean i i would say she was just maybe lonely trying to look for companionship be honest did you know all the answers to the questions the kids asked the query van? So uh, I did not know all the answers to, to the questions. In fact, I think that's quite common. Like adults may not know everything, especially the details. And some kids might have more of an expertise uh, regarding certain subjects than even adults. If you were the teacher of Hyuko and her friends, what would be your biggest life lesson to them? What will our readers take away from Hugo's story? My biggest life lesson to Hugo and her friends would be just to be open to uh, meeting different kinds of people, you know, learning from different kinds of people, and especially be open to being friends with people from different backgrounds. I think the readers could take away different things. I mean, as an educator, I feel like there are also possibilities to learn from the illustrations. You know, how do you illustrate uh, different perspectives, skills, etc. But, uh, you know, the readers could take away from, you know, what it takes to be a friend or to tell a story, uh, etc. And... And I think the other animals wanted to help Yuko because it just shows that they were nice. Again, this could be sort of an open-ended question. We don't know why they decided to help, but it engenders um, positive responses, which can then uh, also help kids learn about friendship and community.